the Colgate Comedy Hour. Guest appearances of Abbott and Costello. Presented by the Colgate Palmolive Company, makers of Halo, the shampoo that glorifies your hair. Colgate Dental Cream. New Colgate Dental Cream now contains Gardol. Ajax, the foaming action cleanser. And Rapid Shave, the instant lather that outshaves any lather or brushless cream. Hello. Uh, it's a great pleasure to introduce at this time Colgate's special guests. Ladies and gentlemen, here are Bud Abbott and Lou Costello, everyone. Now, wait a minute. Don't start that. Oh, I started a little rough. Now, look, Lou. You know we're on, we're on the... All right, never mind that. I don't care about the other cameras. That's the All one. right, never mind that. <laughs> you know, we're doing a turn on the Kogi Comedy Hour tonight. Yeah. And we've got to go over to the Universal Property Department and get some real funny props. You are going over to Universal International? Yeah. To pick up some props? Some good props. For the Sonia Heine show? No, 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 for the Colgate Comedy Hour. Same thing, same well, thing. Well, it's the same thing. What is the difference? We're the tail enders right now. Yes, we're the tail enders now. We're wagging right now. Now, look, we've got about <laughs> we've got about five miles down the line here. Do you want to go down? Yeah, how, how long will it take? It's about five miles. Five miles? Let's get a cab. There's no cabs around here, Lou. Well, you're not going to walk, are you? You have to walk. Well, let's walk. Well, here we are. <laughs> Didn't take as long to get here, did it? No. <laughs> Boy, that Hollywood freeway. <laughs> Uh, property man. Yes, what can I do for you gentlemen? Well, they tell us that this is where they make all the horror pictures. Oh, yes, you're Abbott and Costello, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yes, they told me you were coming down into the property room. This is where we keep all of our horror figures for uh, the yes. horror pictures. So yes. they told us. Yes, there's uh, Dracula, and there's the Wolfman, and there's Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. But wait, wait until you see our latest horror creature. Who is that? The creature from the Black Lagoon. <laughs> uh. Hey, but if you don't mind, do you mind if I go home now? Because I get very scary when there's a lot of scary people in there. <laughs> They're only dummies, Lou. I don't care what they are. They look real. They I can't hurt you, Lou. No. That guy looks like Bela Lagosa. I'm going home. No, no, They're only dummies. We want to get some props there. You see, we're doing a, an act on the Colgate Comedy Hour tonight. Yes, well, what will you need? Well, we need some breakaway chairs. Oh, and... well, the furniture room is right over this way. Come this way, uh, Mr. Uh, all right, wait. Who are you going to break away the chair over? Well, now, wait. We'll figure that out later on. I'll tell you what you do. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what you do. Uh, take this here paper and mark down some props that you see around here that we could possibly use on Any the show. Any props in this room you want me to put on yeah. a paper? And I'll go in this room here with the property man this and way. pick up some stuff. I got news for you, Abbott. All the props in this room I don't want in this paper. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a jury I once knew. <laughs> what? I get the pen, I get some ink over here, and I'm in good shape. You see this thing over here? Well, it was going all over the table. What was going all over the table? The well, I want to get the... This here thing here? Yeah. Now, there's no strings tied to that. How could it go around the table? This was going all over the table. Oh, tried... that's ridiculous. I try it. And... Oh, stop. Just leave it alone. Now, mark things down there, will you please? I'm busy in the next room. What's the matter with you? <laughs> I get when he put the pens over here, and I'll put the put the thing back. Thank you. <laughs> now what? All I said is I want to get the pen over here, and the thing come over here, and I put the pen in the one back. Oh, look, that look, thing, look, that look, thing. still moving. Look, that thing can't move. Will you leave Just it alone, please? Say, give me a pen. Watch what? it move. Say, give me a pen. Watch it move. All right, give me a pen. Give me a pen. Now, what do you mean it can move? Let's say it again. Give me a pen. This. Now, what's the matter with it? It won't do it, will it? Certainly not. What do you know about that? You're seeing things, Lou. 
look at look at your nephew. Uh. Give me a pen. Hey, 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 there's no one. You didn't see it? Certainly not. Turn around again, I'll show you. Turn around. Give me a pen, please. No Give me a pen, please. Hey, Abbott! Give me a pen, please. It's up here now. Look, Abbott! Move it back, move it back. Hey, Abbott! Move it back. Hey, Abbott! Move it back. Will you leave props, don't move. No, certainly not. They're all props, Lou. Now sit down. Come on. Yes, now the furniture we have. <laughs> Everybody is here but the invisible man. <laughs> the invisible man is here too. What did, what do you mean? You put a cigarette over here, didn't there you? There is no such a oh, where's it now? What did you do? Swunk my cigarette? No, it's gone now. The invisible man. Oh, will you stop that nonsense? Say, pardon me, but you gentlemen like horror stories. <laughs> no, I don't. No. Well, I have the script here of our latest murder mystery. May I read it to you? No. Very well, then I will. I... <laughs> what kind of a prop room is it? It's called The Monster and the Miser. It's the story of an old miser. Oh, a story about Abbott? Uh, well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this miser was murdered for his gold. <laughs> murdered for his gold? Mm -hmm. What time this happened? It all started... One night, about 12 o'clock. What time is it now, Abbott? Two minutes to 12. I got two minutes to make Brooklyn. Never mind, I want to get out of here. I don't now to... listen to me, Why? young man. It all started one night at 12 o'clock. Now, just a minute. If you're going to talk to me, tell this guy not to talk so slow. Why, what's the matter? One night at 12 o'clock. <laughs> that scares me. <laughs> talk back to say one night at 12 o'clock. What are you doing about? May I go on with my story? Yes, go oh. on with the story. Let's the old go. miser was seated at his desk, yes. counting his gold piece by piece. <laughs> He hit the jackpot. <laughs> you hear the miser count his gold? I didn't hear anything. Did you hear it? I heard nothing. It must have been an echo. From Las Vegas. No. <laughs> the old miser was about to put his gold in his safe when he heard footsteps. Here comes a guy on hinges. On hinges? <laughs> what are you talking about? You hear about? a guy walking on hinges? No. You didn't hear him? Certainly not. Did you hear it? No, I didn't hear a thing. Something tells me I'm here all alone. Now <laughs> listen, the footsteps got closer. Yeah, they were the footsteps of the monster. Soon, the monster crashed through the window. Mm. Did you hear that, Abbott? What? You didn't hear the guy come through the window? Oh, certainly not. Did you hear it? Nothing. Oh, my. The monster <laughs> sneaked up behind the old man. He reached into his jacket and pulled out a long black knife and stabbed it into the miser's heart like this. <laughs> Why, 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 what's the matter? Abbott, Louis, he got me, Louis, he got me with that knife, Louis, what's wrong? He got me, tell me, Louis, I'm your partner. Don't hold me so close, I could get an Emmy. That will act. Louis, Louis, tell me, what's wrong? What happened? He stabbed me in the chest. Where? Look at the blood. That's your tie. <laughs> oh, come on, sit down here. I don't believe in those echoes anyway. Uh, you don't believe in them? No. This is an old building, Lou. That's all there is in here is echoes. Here, listen. Now listen to this. <laughs> See, that's all over the building. That's all you're hearing. Look, Louis, please. Did you hear that? No. I went like this, I heard a smack. No, you did nothing of the kind. You're hearing things. Now, will you please mark down things around here? Okay. We've got to get out of here. We've got a show to do tonight. I'm going to read this story about hey, the miser. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look in this room over here. Now, 
murdered the monster, the monster was captured by the villagers, and they hung him in a big oak tree. Then they threw his body in a long wooden box. That night at 2 o'clock, the lid of the box was open. Come on, that's the voice. The one about I heard a... Oh, you and I... There is no such a thing as the monster. You want to read the story? Right. Soap is proved the mildest soap of all. Milder than any other leading soap. One soap is proved better for complexion care. Better for complexion care. That soap is palm olive. Yes, palm olive. Here's what a group of leading doctors and skin specialists report. 9,500 skin tests on women of all ages and skin types prove palm olive is the mildest of all leading soaps. 
far milder than any other leading beauty soap. Floating soap, deodorant soap, Castile soap, even milder than costly cold creams. That's why Palmolive soap is better for complexion care. Beauty editors, skin specialists, you yourself know that milder cleansing is better for your complexion. Palmolive agrees with your skin better because it's the mildest soap of all. That's why no other leading soap or cold cream gets skin thoroughly clean as gently as palm olive. See how proper care with 100% mild palm olive brings you softer, smoother skin. That schoolgirl complexion look. Change to palm olive. Prove the mildest of all leading soaps. Proved better for complexion care. Hi, I'm Hal Soria. We hope you liked our Colgate Comedy Hour tonight. And now we'd like you to meet our guest stars in person. Here is Abbott and Costello, ladies and gentlemen. coming back soon on your own show. When is that, Lou? Yeah, we're, we're going to be back on our own show March 21st. Well, great. March, March 21st. 21st. March 21st. We'll be looking forward to it. Wonderful to have you Hope to see you all there. Good. Good. Bye. 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 So long, Lou. And of course, welcoming, welcoming to the Colgate Comedy Hour, two wonderful new stars, Keith Purcell and Gene Wesson, ladies and gentlemen. And our special guest star, Miss Sonia Henney. We have a special treat in store for you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're doing Cole Porter's Anything Goes. Our star will be Miss Ethel Merman. See you then. Good night. Henny's Furs by Ritter. Abbott and Costello appear to the courtesy of Universal International Pictures, producers of the Glenn Miller story. Featured in tonight's cast were the Judd Conlon singers, Norman Abbott, Carolyn Jones, Joyce Jameson, Mike Ross, Glenn Stangle, and Will J. White.